The idea that electric vehicles are new is thoroughly misguided. Electric vehicles go back a long time. The first electric vehicles, or what you could, could consider electric vehicles, were produced in the, in the 1830s. Uh, developments kind of went on throughout the 19th century, but it is sort of roughly the period 1880, 1920, that we can consider the first golden age. And in that period, the electric vehicle was competing fiercely with steam engine powered car and with the internal combustion engine uh, powered car. Electric vehicles start to lose their dominant position from about 1920 onwards. And a lot of that is to do with the changes in manufacturing that come with invention of the T Ford and the factory line, which meant that these vehicles could be produced at scale at relatively low cost. And it is really since the 1960s that we see electric vehicles being on people's minds. A small group of perhaps avant-garde designers, engineers, innovators who try to uh, push the boundaries of what we understand as a vehicle. This Saturday, developers of pure electric vehicles will be competing in a marathon to be held at Donington Park. It's open to any car powered by two standard lead-acid batteries. Three of the contenders are with us tonight. Cedric Lynch from Potter's Bar with his interesting design of motor. Good luck, Cedric. Off you go. And note the um, dedicated crouching position he has to adopt. I've been interested in electric motors for a very long time, since I was about six or seven years old. But I got into electric vehicles in a big way in 1978, 79, when there was a competition that was run by the vehicle electrics firm Lucas and the Institution of Mechanical Engineers. And the object was to make a vehicle that would go as far as possible in two hours on two Lucas car batteries. I built it in 1991. It took a few weeks to build, but uh, I've since taken a lot more time installing stuff to get it on the road, because I originally built it for another competition. And uh, because of the streamlined body, it uses very little energy to run it, even at quite high speeds. It uses about 14 watt hours per kilometre on average. And this compares to electric cars that are available, which are mostly between about 120 and 300 watt hours per kilometre. We are developing a different kind of battery um, for electric vehicles and the um, technology is centred around aluminium air. I've taken an existing technology and developed it um, so that it actually works properly in the first place and does provide a, what, what we think anyway is a solution to, to mobility. What, what I want to achieve is that people can drive cheaper with no pollution um, in a recyclable system and that's what this is. We need to be able to move around and efficiently and not damage the environment. And the trouble with, with lithium ion is that you're charging it from uh, fossil fuels. So you're not really, you're just transferring the problem. So it's not really going to help. Whereas this one takes the CO2 out altogether. We're actually half the cost of driving with uh, fossil fuel. For the, uh, the cost per kilowatt hour of the battery, with lithium it's about £250 a kilowatt hour. With our battery, it's about £40 to £50 a kilowatt hour. So it's a lot less, which means that the car manufacturer can now make a profit selling electric cars that, are, that can go a long distance and that are available, are, are a good thing for the customer. There really are no hurdles to developing electric cars. 
from a design standpoint, it's it's key that uh, we we've designed our cars bottom up to be fully electrified. It actually gives customers better use of space in the car. But from a production manufacturing standpoint, actually the manufacturing process is very similar. I expect the demand for electric cars to, to grow exponentially. The consumer is becoming more and more aware of global warming and the severe effects um, that it's having um, on the planet. So I think there's more of an appetite for the consumer to, to consider an electrified car. We are now reaching our 10th anniversary on LEAF. We started producing the car at a Parma plant in Japan. Um, and due to the success in Europe, uh, we also started uh, producing it at NMUK in Sunderland um, in 2013. And so far we have sold over 450,000 Leafs um, globally. It's increasingly likely that with continued growth of our cities, owning individual cars is becoming increasingly problematic. There's simply not the space to park them. So electrification, automation and sharing kind of reinforce one another and it's, many people see it as a, a combination from heaven. The electric vehicle is an important part of the future of urban mobility, but if we really want to make headway in making our transport systems more sustainable, then we will need to move away from vehicles and certainly from own vehicles towards more cycling, more walking, more public transports.